Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. For any of you who are new around here, my name is Anna, AKA NeuroGalMD. I'm a neurologist who loves to make videos about brain related topics. You guys sent me a lot of positive feedback on my recent Harry Mack reaction video. The link is in the description below if you haven't watched it yet. And many of you have expressed a desire for more. So I thought, hey, why not do another? For those of you who are not familiar with Harry Mack, please, please check him out. He is one of the most talented and inspiring YouTubers and freestylers I have ever come across. And by the way, thank you guys so much for the love, the support, and for subscribing. I just reached 23,000 subscribers and I am incredibly grateful for you. I'm so honored to be part of this uplifting YouTube community with you guys. So this is an older Harry Mack freestyle video. It's about a year old, but in scrolling through his video thumbnails, I took note of these keywords in the title, spirituality and meditation. I'm interested in these topics, so I thought it'd be an interesting video to react to. So let's check it out. What's up, man? Hi. How are how you? you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good too, thank you. Where awesome. are you from? Uh, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Where are you from? I'm from India. Are you streaming? No, I'm not. I'm not streaming. Are you? No, no. I used to, but I'm not current. I was just reading a book. Oh, what book are you reading? Uh, it's just Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Yeah, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I know that book. Yeah. Have you read it? I have read it. Yeah. I actually, I have a song based on that book, believe it or not. Uh, where did you upload that song? Uh, it's on Spotify and everything. I go by Harry Mack. I Napoleon Hill is great. I'm actually in the middle of reading one of his books right now called How to Own Your Own Mind. It's a great book. I highly recommend it for anybody who's going through a ride or really anybody who needs some inspiration. I haven't read Think and Grow Rich, but I'm definitely putting it on my reading list. I have a, a, a single called Napoleon Hill by uh, myself, Harry Mack. So, uh, oh, that's really good. Great to meet you. Yeah. Hey, likewise, man. Hey, can I can I do a freestyle rap for you right now? Sure, 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 love to. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, uh, help me out though. We got to collaborate on this. Can I get like uh, three words or topics to inspire my freestyle? Okay, three words and topics. Like, one is book. Book. Yep. Yeah. Uh, second one is life. Life. Yeah, and third one is I guess I am going to give you some difficult word. It's meditation. Meditation. Nice, nice. Yeah. So book, life. Life is a little general, I feel like. Could we get more specific? Like what what about life or 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 maybe you have an alternate one for that. Okay. Uh spirituality. Let's take that. Spirituality. And then yeah. meditation. Nice, I'm nice, excited. nice. I'm excited to see this. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. All right. Book, spirituality, and meditation. I'm ready when you are, bro. Should I drop this beat? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Shoot. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold up, eh, hold up, eh, hold up, eh, hold up, eh, 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 eh. I got the freestyles that'll leave you shook. Techniques that you can learn from no book. Uh, spirituality, y'all know my creations. Got you levitating from the rap meditation. Hey, I got the skills to leave you hooked. Type of techniques you can learn from a book. Hey, spirituality and my rap creations. I got you levitating from the freestyle meditation. Let's go. Hey, from the core I be burning. Open books on the daily. I be steadily learning. I be trying to gain information, flipping through the pages. Knowledge that I'm learning from the books is so amazing. Blazing through the whole library. They hear me round, they asking, damn, why you so fly, Harry? Because I got the information embedded from books I read. That's the reason I be sounding nice for flowing off the head. Grip upon now, based on what he's rapping about, Harry has gained a lot of knowledge from the books he's read, and it's pretty obvious. To be able to freestyle so eloquently about pretty much any given topic reflects just how much foundational knowledge he has. And on that note, I think books are so much more engaging compared to internet articles. I've always felt more engaged, more focused, more inspired when I'm reading books compared to internet articles. Has anyone else felt the same way? 
on the mic Then I'm controlling them skills Trying to think and grow rich like Napoleon Hill Yeah, no one can test it The skills is what I'm blessed with Y'all heed the message You close your eyes and manifest it If you can visualize it You can actualize it Any dream you have and you can go realize it I'll be out here improvising They straight getting down From Los Angeles to India They loving my sound Let's go I got the skills that's leaving them hooked Techniques that you couldn't learn from a book Spirituality with my ill creations I got you levitating from the rap meditation Let's go Hey, my skills is getting you hooked Type of techniques that you couldn't learn from a book Hey, spirituality in my rap creations I got you levitating from the freestyle meditation Let's go Hey, and y'all know I'm getting lyrical I work a miracle I'm digging deep and getting spiritual It's out of control The way I flow, let you know And I've been told to rhyme You pull from your soul So I dig into my spirit I make the people hear it I'm about to face all my fears I be living fearless Hopping over obstacles I don't need no facade And when I look to science I still see God Cause how could it be That when we look at the stars We see history from million years ago It's bizarre Can't believe that when I look in night sky I see the past And that's how long this time gon' last It's amazing Check it Y'all know that people hear me We find God in the Bible And also in string theory My spirit is evolving And I'm staying wide open Spirituality going deep with the notion Let's go uh, I'm speechless Wow. I, I, I love this. God, the divine, can be seen in both religious texts and scientific discoveries. Science and religion are not mutually exclusive. To be able to freestyle about such profound topics with such wisdom, absolutely incredible. Got the type of skills to leave you hooked Type of techniques you can't learn from a book Ayo, hey, spirituality Inside my ill creations I got you levitating from the rap meditation Let's go I got the type of skills to get you hooked Type of techniques you couldn't learn from a book Ayo, hey, spirituality Inside my rap creations I got you levitating from the freestyle meditation Now check out the level we achieving Close my eyes and I'm focused on my breathing Yeah, meditation what it brought I said I focus on my breathing and I let go of my thoughts Hold up, yeah, focus on the breath coming in Ay, Then I exhale once again Meditation, man, y'all know that it's vital I'm meditating my way through these life cycles Let's go Oh my god Bro, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh god That was super That was awesome, brother, amazing I have no words like... Yeah, that was, that was pretty incredible this is harry mack is uh, honestly i'm an expert on the brain i don't know what's going on in that guy's head he is incredible um jeez Whew. you know it's it's interesting that he talks about meditation practice and i suspect that regular meditation has contributed to his extraordinary creative capabilities. I myself have noticed that when I am regularly meditating, I feel more grounded, I'm better able to control my emotions, and I'm more easily able to generate new and creative ideas. So let's talk about this. How can meditation enhance creativity from a neuroscientific standpoint? Meditation seems to promote something called divergent thinking. Divergent thinking is a type of thinking that allows someone to come up with many different solutions for a given problem, and this is strongly correlated with creativity. It seems that a specific kind of meditation called open monitoring meditation is more effective at promoting divergent thinking compared to other types of meditation. In open monitoring meditation, a person focuses on awareness of feelings, thoughts, or sensations currently present in the body or sounds, smells, and colors in their environment. The key is to let your mind perceive these stimuli without judgment and reactivity and just let them flow through you. So basically, open monitoring meditation helps your brain get unstuck and ready for finding creative ideas. Now, another major type of meditation is called focused attention meditation, in which you're focusing on one particular task, such as breathing. If your mind wanders, you gently orient your attention back to the task. 
Although focused attention meditation doesn't have that same powerful effect on evoking creative states, it will strengthen your attention, your focus, and discipline, which will help you organize and execute on any creative ideas you might have. So a combination of both open monitoring and focused attention meditation is probably optimal in any creative pursuits. Meditating regularly might also promote creativity by minimizing your fear response. Regular meditation decreases the strength of a part of the brain called the amygdala. The amygdala is a small almond-shaped region in the brain that plays a large role in fear. The emotion of fear is obviously not conducive to creativity. So when we reduce the strength of the amygdala through meditation, we can minimize the fear response to allow for mental states optimal for creativity. Finally, meditating regularly might improve the communication between the two hemispheres of the brain, which will in turn maximize creativity. Each hemisphere is specialized for different skills. For most people, the left hemisphere is specialized for logic and details. The left hemisphere also houses most of our language capabilities. The right hemisphere, on the other hand, is typically specialized for visual and spatial processing, as well as emotional context. Also, unlike the left hemisphere, that focuses on details, the right hemisphere looks at scenarios holistically to provide a person with a big picture perspective. In order for someone to reach his or her creative potential, he or she actually needs both hemispheres to communicate effectively with one another. Meditation might help communication between the two hemispheres by strengthening the bridge that connects them. This bridge is called the corpus callosum. Research indicates that people who regularly meditate have stronger and thicker corpus callosums. So that is my two cents on meditation's effect on creativity. Obviously, this is not an all-encompassing explanation, but I do hope that these musings will encourage you to pursue meditation as a potential route if you feel like you are in a creative rut. This is NeuroGal MD, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.